Hello guys, so welcome to this drawing with Artbook Challenge number one with Darren Quatch Inkworks. Hey guys, how are you doing? So I'm Shutak from the designsketchbook.com and on Instagram recently I got asking you guys which art books do you have at home and some of you got asked me in back, uh, asked me in return uh, which one do I have as well and this is why I decided actually to uh, show you one of my favorite one which is Inkworks from Darren Quash and what we are going to do is to show you that how much uh, getting art books is essential for you guys to get inspired and also highly motivated to draw is that I'm going to to get these books, uh, flip the pages along the way of uh, one of my drawing sessions and it's going to be two hours long of drawing session that I will time lapse uh, for you guys in few seconds and give you some sketching tips as well. So I really recommend you guys uh, this one if you love uh, concept art, Star Wars, uh, all, all the sketches that are done just manually and not digital is really simple. Just try to see how uh, your mechanics, how your uh, engines are going to move and this is what is going to give, give them a sensation that they are alive. Um, you can see all this kind of Penton here that he uses as a grey with contrasted with the black right here to give it so much more contrast to the sketches and more weight uh, to them. I like the way that he's giving some uh, animal, animal inspired right here and I do invite you as well some to visit on the blog one of the articles I have made. I just give you the screenshot right here of one of the sketches I have made uh, when I was inspired by Darren. Don't try to get the perfect moment to draw at home, to be quiet, to be well focused and concentrated. Just take a sketchbook, take a pen on the go and it could be just immediate and intuitive. Whenever you want to draw, just draw. Just don't break your mind. Just make it easy. Yep, and basically when you are studying one of one of these kind of sketchbooks, what you should do uh, as well as visit Darren Crush or another artist that you like is that try to catch uh, a certain language of forms, uh, what kind of uh, weapon does he create, what kind of line does he do, uh, what kind of sensitivity does he have, like trying to find this kind of very small thumbnails that you can see right here that is just <clears throat> a piece of thought that he has and try to see how he can assemble all these things and try to get all this and when you get inspired of his sketches don't just reproduce what he does exactly how it is try to create your own drawings and try to mix and match with your own ideas and this is what is going really fun and playing like a game and so here we go so I'm going to do the same as well uh, just trying to extract some information from here as much as I can and for this 2 hour session just having fun and create my own engine and concept art sketches so see you now and let's start so what I do like to do when I start my drawing session is to start with some warm-up and basically I start with some thumbnails right here which just to drop some quick ideas whatever I have in mind and here like what I saw from Darren Quash uh, sketchbook was a lot inspired from uh, spiders and I really like this because you can see the kind of articulations and try to think how your engine can move, how your engine can stand and see what you could do with that. Um, you're just dropping some ideas along the way, for example here it's just like um, the characters that I draw some half row air on the top is just, I don't know, just trying to add some uh, quick ideas, whatever come in my mind along the way without thinking too much. Just drop your ideas. Just don't try to plan too much because this is just about thumbnails and whatever you will draw, if you want to focus more on one or another idea, just redraw it again in a bigger size, in a bigger scale. But for now, it's just trying to uh, have fun and trying to understand how kind of articulation you can get, how kind of anatomy you can have. For example, here is some spider which is something a bit more advanced as previous. And as you can see here, trying to get uh, something really organic feeling in spite of being an engine. Um, here I do like, okay, we did some uh, arachnid inspiration, why not about B? <laughs> and so on and so on. Try to get some fun, don't take it too seriously and just draw along the way. So as you can see, I draw from the main shape first and then I go into the details, the textures that can add some more depth into your sketches. Uh, I add some quick pen tone uh, grey colors which can add actually a bit more shadow onto it for volumes. Okay, now I get more comfortable. Let's start to draw something bigger and see how it goes. 
and uh, what of, one of the techniques that I mainly use here is actually also for the happy accident which means I just draw some lines and see uh, how like this kind of random shapes came out and see what I can do with so here we go I continue I do some more and some more I have no limit in my head I just want to draw as much as I want uh, I follow my heart I just feel that oh that's cool I really like it and more and more I draw more uh, inspiration I do have and more I want to explore and in case like something that your job doesn't inspire you much it's okay just drop it and go to the next one here is a arm and weapon uh, inspired that I saw from Darren but I also want to create my own version right here there we go I continue why not doing some more here and some small, small and some more <laughs> some of them are bigger it's really have no rules, uh, you, you just play with your A4 papers and try to fill them. Some red color here just to pop out some colors, some details. There we go, I continue. Bam, bam, bam. Here is like a bit of like a scorpion, why not? <laughs> because it's all about articulation and this is what I, can, I, I feel kind of inspired from. From whenever like you got sketchbooks, this is really give you the motivations and try to uh, bring in the inspiration of drawing with, with this kind of style and trying for the next time getting another art books that you like and try to import also these ideas and so this is how by copying others by getting inspired by others you will create your own style all right but always make sure that you learn the basic of sketchings as well uh, this is what is going to tremendously uh, speed up your, um, your your pace of progress and see you for the next tutorials bye bye Alright, so remember to download the Designer Starter Kit to make your first steps in design sketching and also remember to subscribe to the channels and click on the little bell to make sure that you will get all the notifications about the next videos and see you on the blogs for some more articles.